Today we would like to present to you the RM970. But first, we would like to say a few words about how our boats are made. RM boats are very different from other boats you might know. The main difference is the principal building material, epoxy-infused plywood. It is a very light, very rigid material made from wood. It is pleasant to live in and very comfortable. It makes for a dry, order-free atmosphere and is both respectful of the environment and ecologically friendly. The RM Shipyard was created in 1989, more than 30 years ago. We have made over 500 boats in that time and today we have a line of five boats, from the 890 at 29 to 30 feet to the 1370 at 45 feet. Before showing you around the boat, the decks and the interior, we would like to tell you about the hull. The first thing you see with an RM, whether at anchor or here in a marina, is how it is built to plane. It is visible right away due to the large volume at the bow and in the first quarter of the boat. This volume pushes the entire hull upwards. The forefoot is not submerged and there is a slightly inverted bow to improve the waterline length and give the hull a dynamic look. The boat is rather light, with a fairly light displacement. The design wasn't intended to optimize the waterline length, but rather to optimize planing, just like today's racing boats, or fast blue water cruisers. One of the defining characteristics of our boat is what we call the inverted shear. The curvature of the deck line from the bow to the transom is slightly inverted, as compared with traditional boats. So there is a large volume in the first third of the boat. Then towards the stern and at the transom, the boat tapers along very graceful lines. The design takes its visual cues from blue water racing boats, with of course a modern hull design. You can see that the transom is fairly low, with a wide beam, perhaps even very wide when compared to other boats of this size. Remember, this boat is 9.7 meters in length, a measurement that determines hull power and is also the source of its dynamic, graceful and handsome lines. On to the cockpit. The first most visible feature, perhaps, is the tiller. On a boat this size, a tiller is a reasonable choice. Dual helms are an option, but a tiller is standard equipment. There are two basic helm positions, either standing or sitting on the bench, like this. When using the stick, one can sit up on the combing for perfect lateral visibility, especially when sailing upwind. It is a very comfortable way to steer. The tiller is at the heart of the lively, dynamic, even sporty feel of the boat. But it should be clear, this is not a racing boat. It is not built for regattas. It is just a livelier, faster cruiser. It isn't any more difficult to steer a boat at five to six knots than at six to eight knots. On this boat, speeds are more at the top of the range, around six to eight knots, and that's where things get interesting. Concerning the maneuvers that are located here in the cockpit near the companionway, there are four winches arranged at two levels with all the lines run through cleats. There is one feature here which we think really deserves your attention and is very important. It is the position of the Genoa winches. Usually on a boat of this size and type, the Genoa winches are located on the combing. To use them, one must either lean over, which can be very uncomfortable, or straddle the combing, which can be a bit risky, especially at night when it is very windy or when the boat is heeling over. But here on the RM, one can stand with correct posture and operate the winch ergonomically. And in terms of safety, one is well protected inside the cockpit where the winch can be operated very easily. This is a really unique and key feature on board all RM boats. At RM, we pay special attention to the safe maneuverability of our boats. We really hope that becomes clear to you as you watch this video. If you choose the tiller, as on this boat, it is possible to operate the winch with one hand and hold the bar with the other. 
it is really easy and ergonomic. The RM970 is a boat that can be single-handed or short-handed without any problem at all. Let's talk about something that always gets people's attention, lockers and storage. On most cruising sailboats, the lockers are located in the cockpit benches. There are two downsides to this, and it is for these reasons that we don't use them. The first is that the volumes in the aft cabins is reduced. In the cabins, the lockers cut into headroom and block the view. The second is that every time you want to open a locker, someone is sitting on it. They are obliged to move for it to be opened. To avoid these pitfalls, there are lockers located to stern, which are very spacious, very large. They have the added advantage of being accessible directly without bothering anyone. Here we are at the bow, on the forward deck. Several features are important to note. The first is the windshield, another of the essential RM sailboat features. All RMs have a windshield. Where there is a windshield, there is forward visibility in the cabin. Another significant feature is the bulwark. First of all, it is a part of the overall aesthetic. It is also structural and serves to reinforce the rigidity of the whole boat, which improves performance. Above all, it is an important safety feature. One's foot fits perfectly along the inside. Though there is no actual tow rail, it is very safe. The foothold is solid and reassuring. Another important thing to notice at the bow is, of course, the bowsprit. The bowsprit is also one of the boat's signature features. The bowsprit tack points allow for the installation of head sails, an asymmetrical spinnaker, or a jenniker. It also integrates a bow roller, which stows the anchor in an optimal position. Here, both functions are well integrated. You no longer need to install or stow the bowsprit. Everything is integrated and easy to handle. This is an example of what this boat is really about. It has all the qualities of a racing, regatta, and competition boat, but with the ease of use of a cruiser. Handling is easy. Maneuvers are simple and accessible for sailors of all skill levels. But the performance features, and of course the performance, of the fastest boats is also built in. It is the combination of these two qualities that really defines our design concept. The companionway is a pivotal zone on the boat. One can spend a lot of time moving in and out of the cabin. First of all, it seems one never knows where to store the companionway door. To eliminate this problem, there is dedicated stowage for the door at the foot of the companionway. Here you see the locker. Second, and even more importantly, the companionway has a gentle slope with fewer steps than other comparable cruisers. On other boats, the bottom of the cockpit is at about this level. How did RM manage that? We raised the floor, first of all, so as to have this shallow companionway, but also to optimize visibility through the windshield. All this is part of our design concept where ergonomics and comfort are particularly important. It's always a lot of fun when someone steps into the cabin of an RM for the first time. There is always a kind of surprise, even astonishment. It is so bright. There is so much light. This is the sensation that we designed it for and it is yet another of the key features that set our boats apart. Why is it so luminous and so bright? First of all, because there are large windows on the sides of the coach roof, as well as very large windows in the freeboard. But above all, it is because of the windshield that is found on very few cruising boats. The windshield lets in a lot of light and allows for exceptional forward visibility and increased safety when below decks. Very often, when the boat is on autopilot, one needs to go down to the galley or to the chart table. With the windshield, it is possible to check the boat's progress and see the approach of another boat, a buoy, whatever there is outside, from inside the cabin. And last but not least, in regular use, 
This windshield not only brings in light and is a safety feature, it is an excellent remedy for seasickness. This windshield is a real engineering challenge, which is why few boats have one, but we find it is worth the effort. We are sure you will appreciate its many advantages. The interior is extremely bright and really a very pleasant living space. Another essential feature is that the entire deck is completely insulated. The first layer of insulation is an air gap, a 3 cm void between the ceiling and the deck. It is also important to mention that the ceiling is also made of wood. A layer of plywood extends throughout the whole structure and provides a second layer of thermal and acoustic insulation. There is absolutely no point of contact with polyester, no point of contact with an artificial material. A boat often feels humid inside, but wood gives the boat a very dry feel. Wood prevents odors, and in a boat made with wood, there are no strange odors. Today, more and more people are aware of the advantages of building their homes in wood. On this boat, the ceiling, the bulkheads, the hull, the internal structure, and the bottom of the hull are all made of wood. The cabin is an extremely comfortable, extremely pleasant sort of wooden cocoon. In the middle section of the cabin, perhaps the middle third, there is the workspace. It is made up of the galley on one side and the chart table on the other. The very practical galley has real functional countertops. There are many small details, such as the countertop accessible trash bin, a large amount of storage, and even a backsplash. So it is a very nice galley, with the added advantage of facing the forward windshield, making visibility from the galley fantastic. And last but not least, the galley is very close to the cockpit, which is convenient for getting something to eat or drink. Here to starboard, there is another important feature common to our entire line of boats, a real char table. with a navigator seat, a functional work surface, storage for documents and charts, the electrical panel and equipment. It is a real control center for the boat. It is located right next to the companionway, practical for giving instructions or getting up to the cockpit in an emergency. It has 180 degree visibility to both port and starboard as well as forward. The visibility allows you to accurately survey the boat's surroundings and situation directly from the chart table. The saloon is large, comfortable, and bright. It is a very pleasant living space. There is a magnificent table with a large surface, integrated storage, and two flaps. As a measure of how large the space is, the benches are more than two meters long. Forward of the cabin is the V-berth. There is no bulkhead by design. It adds even more breathing room to the spacious saloon. From the aft of the cabin, there is a really pleasant feeling of volume and space. The V-berth is very wide, wide enough for two people. It is, of course, possible to close it off with a curtain. The aft cabin is also wide enough for two people and is equipped with two opening portals for good ventilation and natural light. There is a large wardrobe to the port side to store clothing. The size of the aft cabin is unusual for this kind of boat, thanks to the wide beam at the stern. Since there are no cockpit lockers, the overall comfort and headroom are exceptional, something remarkable for this type of boat. The RM970 is not a large boat at about 32 feet, but it has many interesting features. The technical room is another example. Rare on a boat this size, 
There is both space dedicated to storage, much more than the boxes usually found on similar boats, and good access to technical components such as the fuel tank, the batteries, the electrical systems, the exhaust system, the autopilot, etc. Though it is clearly a small boat, there is still a fully equipped, perfectly ergonomical head with a sink, a toilet, and a shower. As you can see, the RM is the optimized synthesis of a very appealing, modern design with sporty lines and is an extremely comfortable boat. The large living space is extremely pleasant with a bright, dry and odorless atmosphere. It is a wooden boat that is manufactured with respect for the environment. Above all, it is an exciting, high-performance boat. It sails fast, much faster than other boats of comparable size, and it is, in the end, a really simple boat. It will reach 8 to 10 knots without difficulty and has better average speeds than other boats in the same category. Overtaking them is a lot of fun and very satisfying. All of this is the RM concept. If you would like to know more, please come to the shipyard for a visit. We would be delighted to welcome you, hear about your project and develop a proposal that can turn your dreams into reality.